not overboard diving. Public service announcement. I am doing a show at the Viper Room on April 30th. I'm performing. If you guys are new here, I am a singer. And I'm going to be doing a show with my dancers and me April 30th. There's going to be other people performing, but I'm on at 10 p.m. I will leave. Tickets are only 10 bucks, so bring a friend and come see me in L.A. If you guys want to see me perform and hang out with me, it's my birthday weekend too, so it would mean a lot to me. Let's get into the vlog. Good morning. It's Monday. I'm so tired today. I have no idea why, but I'm on my way to a Frankie's Bikini showroom to pick out some outfits. Have a little day with me. Okay, you all, I just got done with the Frankie's Bikini showroom. I picked out so much sick pieces. So now, since I'm on this side of town, I'm gonna go to the Venice Erewhon and get some groceries. I love Erewhon so much. It's literally like, think about a Whole Foods, but two times more expensive. I know if that's possible. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get some groceries and then I'll show you guys when I get back home what I got. So stay tuned. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat. This has acai, tocos, plant-based protein, chia seeds, almond butter, coconut oil, lucuma, hemp seeds, chlorophyll, spirulina, pumpkin seed oil, udos oil, stevia, berries, cacao nibs, and coconut flakes. You just go and dump your toppings. But spirulina is so good for you. Mmm, it's pretty good. And it's thick, like a, like a dessert pudding. This is breakfast while I drive home. I, my hair looks like shit. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Air One. I got two spring waters. Drinking spring water is the best thing you can do for your body. And it's in glass, which means there's no chemicals. Some nutritional yeast. I haven't had nutritional yeast in a long time in my cabinets. I restocked. Basically has a bunch of like vitamin Bs, iron, protein. I've been recently focusing my diet on things that will make my eyes, my skin, my hair glow from within. That's kind of how I've been eating and yeah vitamins are really good and because we don't get a lot of vitamins in our food because just how things are grown all of that some nutritional yeast adding it to the condiments i need to clean out this i have been loving fennel this has been one of my favorite things to add into sandwiches and salads tuna some salmon for dinner tonight peas i never eat peas and i just like want to kind of just like go in my fridge and pop some in my mouth organic raspberries this golden apple cucumber tartar sauce i love putting this on tuna and salmon i know fish isn't the best for you either but it makes my hair and my skin look so good i am trying to wean myself off coffee so i'm trying this mushroom latte blend i'm gonna try it tomorrow carrot for my skin and my eyes carrots literally try to eat a carrot every single day it is so good for your skin and your eyes then another piece of salmon parsley so good Fresh blueberries. Blueberries and raspberries are everything. A detox salad. It has red cabbage, Brussels sprouts, carrot, almond, apple, cider vinegar, black kale, olive oil, sunflower seeds, parsley, ginger, wild honey, and Dijon mustard. Super seed crackers to snack on when I want carbs when I shouldn't be eating too many carbs. I do love sandwiches and wraps. So this is a chickpea flour wrap and it doesn't have any oils in it besides an olive oil. You don't want to consume oils. They're so bad for you. Like sunflower oil, safflower oil, canola oil. Um, dark chocolate almonds for my sweet tooth. This is my favorite protein powder. And another apple. So I'm going to put these away and I'm going to start some work and clean up some dishes. It's later in the day and basically all I did was do emails and then I made a couple of Lorelei necklaces. I had to make cosmic love chokers. I have to go make two more when I get home but did that. Had a phone call with a new producer. Now I'm headed to Pilates. Gonna do a workout because I need to be working out every single day to maintain the body that I want so I totally forget what I was saying earlier I have no idea but I'm gonna go do Pilates and then I'm gonna go home and make dinner I'm gonna have salmon and steamed carrots my skin is acting up bitch got him going to Pilates mmm I got the salmon, the tartar sauce with avocado oil, nutritional yeast, turmeric. I'm snacking on my crackers. 
And then I've got carrots and peas. So gorgeous. What? Okay. I'm so tired. I'm about to go get a massage. Come home and go to sleep. Let's go to this massage. Today, we are gonna be trying the mushroom coffee latte blend. I'm really scared. Total caffeine per packet, 116 milligrams. Is that a lot? Hold on. Mmm, smells like hot chocolate. Okay, the one that I'm used to drinking has 250 milligrams. This is really good. It smells really good. I look disgusting. I just woke up. Don't judge me. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's called Ohm. Um. What if I just take a little bit of this? This has 50 milligrams, so hardly any. Let's heat up some milk. Let's try it. Not bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. So now I'm just gonna sit here and drink this coffee, go through my Instagram DMs, and start packing up some Lorelei goodies, answering messages, I'm gonna do that because this is gonna be boring if you're just watching me on my phone. Okay, I just went on a beautiful hike. I'm gonna eat some food. Like saute boil, these carrots and peas. I've been doing this every night. Since I'm pretty impatient, I'm gonna eat the rest of the salmon I was picking at. Pickles, avocado oil tartar sauce. I actually want a lot of pickles. These pickles are sweet and spicy. They're gifting it to me. It's by the brand. I can never say this brand name. Augustus Barrar. I'm really excited because I love a blowout. And my hair's gonna look cute for the rest of the day and I'll probably shoot some content. And yeah. Prepping for my show on Friday. It's Wednesday. We have about 60 hours before my show. So I just have to make sure I'm taking care of my voice. I need vitamin C. Do you mind if I like
crazy zoid it's crazy so crazy what's up guys it's an exciting day today i figured i would vlog my whole day so i'm gonna go get lip blushing today and lip blushing is basically where you get your lips tattooed essentially this is gonna bug me I normally would never really do something like this, but really want to start embracing my natural self for springtime and summer. So I just love, like because I'm so busy and I'm going to studio sessions, I'm going to manufacture meetings for Lorelei, my jewelry brand. And you know, I just don't always want to put a full beat on. So I've been really investing in like my skincare. I use an all natural lash serum so my lashes are nice and thick and long. I'm keeping up on my brows, not getting bushy and crazy. I like a more sleek look. So I also don't want to be putting lip liner on all day, every day. Especially when I'm just like running around like this Erin, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try lip blushing, to lip blushing today and you kind of get to custom make the color that you want. It'll be like a four hour situation. So I did get some Starbucks. Egg white bites, hot. I don't know why I got this. I got an almond croissant warm. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing, but I just wanted a couple bites. You're also not supposed to have caffeine. 48 hours before you get this done because caffeine can cause like bleeding or like you to bleed more. But I got a cold brew and I forgot how nasty cold brews are from Starbucks. They're not that good. Also, if I look different, it's because my hair is slicked back and this is literally like OG Janelle, but I will get my extensions back in and I will always have my gel X. Gel X, I love my nails. They're so fun. Like having nails on is so fun like plain cute nails like I just I love it okay darlings let's go just a little bit you have a little bit right here so that'll show every little detail so I just picked my lip color sorry I'm talking my blog y'all and I think I like this one they kind of show you the end result of like the color that you'll get after your heels it's about two weeks to see like your full result right yeah they also threaded my mustache all right <clears throat> here's the first look my lips right after they're done I kind of love it um it's gonna fade but I love like it's supposed to be the most pigment the first couple of days and then it like fades out and then we'll go to its like normal color my lips were having a really hard time taking the pigment it just like was not sticking so they had to literally run the color over yeah i'll keep you guys updated i'm supposed to just let them kind of air out scab over so it'll be about a five day process hello i just got a tooth gem and I kind of hate it on myself. I literally think I'm the last person on earth to pull off said tooth gem. Okay, bitch. Yeah, go. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? I'm gonna go. This is so tiny. Could be worse. People are literally so crazy. I really hate this. Just shows how slanted in my teeth are. Fucking so gross. Okay, I'm not doing this. Not doing this, Melrose. I hate my hair. Hey guys, I'm in front of my camera and I just wanted to show you guys my lips. This is day two. I just have gloss and then I put liner right around the top. There is no lip color on them. They're really dark. So hopefully it'll go down. Yeah, I really like them so far. We'll see how they fade. I also want to show you my outfit. Corset is White Fox Boutique. It came with a matching skirt, but I don't really like to wear skirts. Jeans are EB denim. And then look at my shoes. How Lizzie McGuire of me. They're from Steve Madden. And I'm wearing my Lorelei body chain around my neck. I just double layered it. Silver hoops. Yeah, I'm gonna go out to a few events tonight. Them, I'm gonna go see my friend Alexa perform. I'm sorry, I keep touching my hair. And then go get a drink with Heather. And then we're gonna go to a few events. I also got a tooth gem today. I don't think I like it on me, but 
I'll leave it, it's kind of cute. Day two of my lip blushing, and I'm going out on the town. Thursday night, Thursdays are my favorite nights to go out. Okay, my apartment's a mess, please ignore it. And this may be, this may be TMI, okay? But look at how big my boobs look. These are two week before my period boobs. I don't know if you can tell, but look at even from the side. Like my boobs are normally not, this is no bra too, by the way. Literally no bra. And I feel like with a push-up bra, these things would just, like what? I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to it. I want to show you guys my lips. This is just a little liner around the top. Day three, well, second full day. But I'm on my way to to the RUMI showroom. RUMI is one of my favorite OG brands. I've literally been obsessed with for years. Um, so I'm gonna go there and get some cute stuff. So I've been doing this thing where I take freezing cold showers because it's good for your skin and hair. You know, the things that I'm doing recently to be hot are catastrophically, are catastrophically testing how bad I wanna feel and look good. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm gonna take a cold shower to help clear my mind and make my hair shinier and my skin feel good. I just did a three and a half mile hike up Runyon and they're really good. I'm wearing my cute little sets here. This is Sasuke. Top, it's so soft. Shorts. They come with a top, but I wanted to do the blue and the orange. So let's take the shower. Oh! Oh! I'm done. Done with your shit. <laughs> It's crazy to think that in about an hour, ooh, 15 minutes, I need to be up and going out and about in the town. It's 8.55. But I was just researching about hot and cold showers and the benefits, and there's actually benefits to both. So cold shower benefits. Decreased inflammation and swelling, so like acne, anything on the skin. If you have really irritated skin, skin issues, hot showers will inflame all of that because it brings the blood to them, to it. Reduce muscle tension and soreness, lower cholesterol levels, improve circulation and reduce pain. Hot shower benefits, improved cardiovascular health, reduce muscle soreness and fatigue. So hot and cold works for the muscles, improve brain health, better flow to joints and muscles and improve sleep. So it's good for sleeping if you need to get sleepy, warm up your body. And so I did 10 seconds under the cold shower and I just feel like it really tightens the skin because it restricts the blood flow to your skin. So it tightens it almost and it closes the hair follicles in your hair. So it reduces damage to them because when they're open that's how you'd get slit ends and it just caught it just can cause stuff to damage your hair because your hair has follicles and it opens to heat and closes so i'm going to continue to do cold showers it was almost 100 degrees in la today so i'm gonna just continue sorry my lips are peely this is day three of my lip blushing and i actually love it i just have nails pouring on them right now they're a little peely but i love the color so far it's gonna fade even more but i don't have any lip color on um so yeah that is that this full-on robe from the toothpaste company called twice they just sent me a bunch of stuff. They sent me this robe, it has a hoodie. But I wanna tell you what I used on my skin. So I'm wearing this Zit Sticker Hydro Exfoliating Mask and then I put Niacinamide Serum underneath it. So did that. After I got out of the shower, I used the Necessaire Body Serum. And I love it because you don't need too, too much. And I just lightly just cover it. I don't like use too much. And I put it on my legs, my midsection, my back, my bum, and my arms. I don't do my chest and my boobs because with my boobs my chest my neck and my face i've been using actual face products because one i have so many and two i've been testing stuff and whatever so then i use the drunken elephant i go between the necessary body lotion and the drunken elephant body lotion the drunken elephant body lotion is so good so I put that all on every from my boobs down <clears throat> and then i put 
boob tube on my boobs because it's a, been a long time trick of mine but boob tube is for women who have had babies and they're trying to make sure to secure the elasticity of the skin around their boobs it's kind of like a tightening skin thing so i put that around my boobs i love boob tube it's a secret of mine and then i went in and i put i use the serum no I just used this cream, Declatage and Neck Cream, because I had the RF treatment. It's like a microneedling radioactive treatment on my neck and chest, and it's only been two weeks. I still want to repair the skin. And basically, the researchers of this skincare company were researching and testing their products on people with burnt skin wound on their body. And that's how they formulated this cream to repair normal skin from trauma, damage, inflammation. It's basically like that so i put this cream all over my neck and chest and then on my face i did the niacinamide and this mask and then i'm gonna use my drunk elephant tide cream before i start my makeup so i just figured i would give you that little breakdown and i'll check in with you guys when i finish my makeup <laughs> should i go out tonight i'm like or should i just stay in and sleep i kind of want i kind of want a red wine i should go out would you guys go out in the la town if you're me Mm, I'll let you know what I end up doing. You guys, my skin looks so cute after this mask. Okay, yo. Okay guys, so before I end this vlog, I wanna just close out and show you guys some clothes that I got this week and they're not from Revolve. I wanna mix it up and show you guys actual new different clothes that I got. Also, I did not go out last night. I have recently been realized, I definitely am going through and went through a transit a transitional period where I never went out and drank and then I was overdoing it and now I think I have this just like really amazing balance with going out I like to go grab a cocktail once maybe twice a week that's pretty much it and so I just realized also you know what I want in life and that's genuine friends and a genuine partner one day and I just feel like when I was going out I was just meeting a lot of energy suckers and a lot of soul sucking people and people that were lost and trying to find answers so they were out all the time and I also noticed that I was people that like to go out all day all the time and I realized I couldn't really connect with them outside of going out because I don't like doing that all the time. I like doing it here and there. And it's really easy to get caught up, especially in LA and being around the certain types of people that I do see out and about and I do know through other friends. And none of these people are like horrible people. They're just not for me. And so I just thought, you know, last night no one was like begging, you know, obviously people were like, where are you at? What are we doing? You know, whatever, what's the move? Come, you know, have a drink. But no one was like, please come, I need to see you, you know? So. I was like, eh, I'll stay in bed. But I also realized too that, you know, the guys that do go out are normally in that like hookup casual culture that LA embodies that I've recently started like talking about and just thinking about. And I think for me, hookup culture is just not my thing. It's just not, what's that sound on TikTok? It's never been my thing not into it <laughs> yeah some people are really good at it i'm not i think it's most of the time very toxic and i just realized you know when i go out i like to wear tiny outfits i like to dress really sexy because it's for myself i really like to wear sexy stuff so i just realized i was like you know what i it's just attracting the wrong attention it's not the guys that i want you know so i do however once in a while i like to dress up and go get sexy like tonight i want to i don't have any plans but i want to a lot of the times i end up now just staying home and wearing my own little sexy clothes for myself and just trying them on and like maybe taking pictures i like to really dress up and just be with it for myself because i i love wearing sexy stuff i feel like you can wear and want to wear sexy stuff without wanting the attention from guys that just want to bang you you know what i mean that's not fulfilling that's not something i strive for i don't care at this point now when a guy calls me like pretty or something i'm like that's all you got like literally like it's almost like offensive if a guy's just like you're pretty you're like okay every girl is pretty like that's all you could come up with, with 
like that's all you could think about that's when you know it's just like so anyways i stayed in i parted my hair differently i'm just trying this i really hate my hair without extensions um making me cringe every second so i'm doing my best trying new things <laughs> So I want to show you guys some pieces that I got this week in PR polls, gifting, and whatnot, and just show you guys. Maybe you guys can see some. It's really colorful, cool stuff, activewear. So let's get into it, yeah? This is some underwear by the brand Booty. It's spelled instead of booty with a T, it's booty with a D. So I just got these little black shorts, can bra, very comfortable, soft, great for nighttime. It has been so hot in LA. I think it's 85 today, but it was 100 yesterday. So little clothes is always nice. And then I got this padded bra. I love padded bras. I just feel like it gives me more support. I don't have huge, huge boobs, but I do, I have enough to like, I want to keep them perky forever. That's a thing. So extra padding, plus it gives you more boob. And then some gram <laughs> some granny panties. I like how high-waisted these come up and just like cut my whole butt. So I feel like nice and comfy at night. I don't like wearing thongs to bed. I don't like something up my butt all night. And then active wear. I got, this is the top that matched the orange shorts that I wore last night for my hike. And then I got this cream colored top. Has padding, which is nice. I love working out with a nice padded push-up sports bra makes me feel sexy little booty shorts i feel like this let's say you're just running errands and you want to put like a belly chain lorelei by g i'm wearing mine <laughs> yeah i feel like that would be really cute with some like really cute sneakers i have these really cool new balance sneakers that i love and then this really low cut v lavender color lavender is so in right now the purple short and then i got this activewear brand is called story with an i instead of a y so i got a navy blue padded bra and padded white bra super cute all the crosses in the back and then it came with these shorts the fabric is incredibly soft i got these all in a size two slash extra small this next one i love this is a big harley davidson tee i think just to throw on with like some cute shorts run my errands wear like a baseball cap i love that i also got this harley davidson tank I'm gonna crop it and cut it to where the back circle ends because long full tank tops on me I don't love I like to crop them a little bit and then I went to the are you in my showroom so I got this set obviously you guys have seen it it's these little shorts and the top and then I got this very sheer cute top I'm gonna wear a bra with it obviously and I tried it on with this silk wrap black skirt unreal it's like a mini skirt and then i got this really cool blue zebra print tight dress i just thought the color was different something to try of course that top from white fox it's really flattering on fits like a glove it comes with a matching skirt but i don't really wear skirts so and then i got this cute little t-shirt from i can never pronounce that but look how cute this is I wore this with orange shorts yesterday. Some sneakers. Love. Oh, this one's really cute too. Look how cute. Oh my god. I love this. I just love their, I love everything. Their branding. And then I got this really cute hoodie. Oh, I'm gonna cut this so it's like, gives me room to just like throw it over. I love the green. Green's my favorite color with pink right now. And I got this one too from the same brand. Love the 70s vibe. Sick. I got this little hat, this brand. This lady hand knits everything in her collection. It took her two and a half years to make her first collection. Um, She's out of Miami. Look how cute this is. It's kind of small, I wish it was bigger, but I feel like maybe if I wore it back a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. My forehead's kind of big, but if I had my bangs, no, maybe forward. Hmm. I got some sunnies. So the first brand is called Reality Eyewear. And there's, oop, there's like these old school ones. Cute. Get them. These are reality. These are cool. I love these. Sup, baby? You, uh, come around here often? What you doing, girl? Shit. 
Then there's Giant Vintage, really cool um, blue 2000s vibes. These remind me of when I was a kid. Good for just like if you don't want to lose your million dollar sunglasses that you pay millions of dollars for if you do pay millions of dollars for your sunnies. But then again, I got them in black. I think the black is a vibe. I don't know about the blue. These black ones are actually really fire. How come this is cool? This is cool. This, this is not it. Last but certainly not least, I got this huge robe from Twice. It's an oral company. I just, that sounds weird. It's a tooth and mouth oral company. <laughs> I guess you can say that. I wore it last night. And yeah, that's what I got this week. Next week is gonna be, oh, I wanna show you guys these um, bracelets these bracelets they're from the brand moe mo i love it. it's very summertime very coachella so anyways thank you guys for watching this vlog don't forget to stream my project i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. release me from this curse i'm in trying to maintain but i'm struggling if you can't go